You ever felt like life keeps repeating the same situations over and over? Maybe you've wondered, why does this keep happening to me? What if I told you it's not just random? The universe is trying to teach you something, something crucial that can unlock your true potential as a chosen one. Think about this. Every challenge, every delay, and even every heartbreak is the universe whispering lessons you need to hear. But here's the catch. Not everyone listens. Those who do are the ones who rise above, the ones who discover their true power and purpose. Could you be one of them? In today's video, we'll uncover crucial lessons the universe is trying to teach you. These lessons aren't just random thoughts. They're the keys to overcoming obstacles, finding your purpose, and becoming the best version of yourself. You don't want to miss these, because once you start noticing these lessons in your own life, everything will begin to make sense. Before we dive in, let's make a deal. If you're here to grow, to unlock your full potential, and to step into your role as a chosen one, take a second to hit that subscribe button. Not only will it help us grow this incredible community, but it's your first step in saying, yes, I'm ready to listen and learn. Now let's get started on these life-changing lessons. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll see your journey in a whole new way. Sometimes life can feel like a roller coaster. Just when you think everything is going smoothly, something unexpected happens, like a problem or a big change. Maybe you studied really hard, but the test was harder than you expected. Or perhaps you made plans with friends, but they got canceled at the last minute. These surprises can be frustrating. But believe it or not, they're also some of life's best teachers. When life throws unexpected challenges your way, it's not there to ruin your day or make things harder just for the sake of it. Instead, these moments are opportunities for you to grow stronger and smarter. Think about it. If everything was always easy, you'd never get the chance to test your abilities or learn how to adapt. The universe, or whatever you believe in, gives you these surprises to help you build resilience which is a fancy word for being tough and able to bounce back. It's like lifting weights to get stronger. You need to push yourself a little more each time to build real strength. Imagine a tree that grows in a place with strong winds. The wind pushes against it, making it sway back and forth. Over time, that tree's roots grow deeper and stronger because they need to hold the tree steady. If there were never any wind, the tree's roots would be weaker and it could fall over easily. Just like that tree, facing the unexpected can make your roots, your inner strength, grow deeper and help you stay grounded even when things get tough. Another great thing about the unexpected is that it teaches you how to be flexible and creative. When you have to find a new solution or change your plans, you're practicing skills that will help you in the future. These skills make you more adaptable, which means you'll be better prepared for any situation even the ones you haven't thought about yet. So the next time something doesn't go as planned, try to see it as a chance to learn something new about yourself. Maybe you'll discover that you're stronger than you thought or that you have a talent for finding quick solutions. Embracing the unexpected can feel hard at first, but with time, you'll realize that these moments help you become your best self. Ever felt like things are taking too long to happen? Maybe you're waiting to achieve something, like winning a competition, making a new friend, or even reaching a goal you've set for yourself. Meanwhile, it might seem like other people are moving faster, reaching their goals more quickly, or even succeeding without much effort. It's normal to feel frustrated or even disappointed in moments like these. But here's something important to remember. Life has its own timing, and sometimes what feels like a delay is actually a part of your journey. This idea is called divine timing. It means that everything in your life happens exactly when it's meant to. Just because something hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it won't. It just means the time isn't right. Think of it like planting a seed. You don't get a tree the next day. You water the seed, make sure it has sunlight, and wait patiently. Over time, with the right conditions, the seed grows into a plant, and eventually, a tree. If you tried to rush the process, you wouldn't get the same result. The tree needs that time to grow strong and healthy. Sometimes, when you feel like you're moving slower than others, it's because the universe is giving you time to prepare for what's coming next. Imagine if you were given something you wanted before you were ready for it. You might not appreciate it fully or even know how to handle it. The hardest times, there is light at the end of the tunnel. And the more you embrace your own journey, the more you can inspire those around you. The universe wants you to know that your life is not just about you, 
It's about being a source of inspiration for others, showing them that with wisdom, strength, and perseverance, they can conquer anything. By sharing your story and your experiences, you prove that hardships are not the end of the road, but a stepping stone to greater things. Your life is a message to others that no matter what they go through, they can emerge stronger, wiser, and ready for whatever comes next. So remember, every struggle and every victory is a gift, not only for you, but for those who need to see it. Your journey is inspiring, and the universe is calling you to embrace it fully. Life's journey is rarely a straight path. It's full of twists, turns, and challenges. However, the universe wants you to understand something important. Your struggles and triumphs are not just experiences for you alone. They are meant to inspire others. You are meant to be a light to those who may be struggling in ways that you have already faced. The hardships you've overcome and the lessons you've learned along the way carry wisdom and strength that can uplift those around you. When you face difficult times, it may feel like you're alone, like no one understands what you're going through. But the truth is, your challenges are shaping you into someone who can offer guidance, hope, and inspiration to others. Your ability to push through tough moments, even when things feel impossible, shows others that they, too, can get through their struggles. Your journey teaches others that hardships aren't the end of the road, but rather part of the process that leads to personal growth. Think about the times when you felt discouraged, lost, or unsure of the future. Yet despite everything, you kept moving forward. Those moments of resilience are what others need to see. When they witness someone like you, who has faced adversity and kept going, they feel empowered to face their own challenges with hope and strength. Moreover, your triumphs, whether big or small, are proof that success is possible, even after setbacks. Each time you overcome an obstacle, you show others that they too can achieve their goals, no matter how difficult the journey may seem. Your success isn't just a win for you, it's a powerful reminder for others that they can succeed too. Your story of perseverance and triumph is a reflection of the belief that anything is possible if you keep going, even when the path isn't easy. The universe wants you to know that your story is powerful. By sharing your experiences, whether through your actions, words, or just the way you live, you inspire others to take action in their own lives. Your life becomes a living testament to the strength that can be found in facing challenges head on. You show others that it's not about avoiding difficulties, but about how you rise above them that truly matters. Ultimately, the universe has placed you on a path, not just for your own growth, but to serve as a beacon of light for others. The lessons you've learned through your struggles are like a map that others can follow. You are not only becoming stronger through your experiences, but are also helping others to realize their own strength. Your journey proves that hardship leads to wisdom, and wisdom leads to strength. You are the light that shows others how to keep going, no matter what life throws their way. So remember, each challenge you face and every victory you achieve isn't just for you. Your journey is part of a greater story, one that inspires and uplifts others, showing them that they too can face their fears, overcome obstacles, and grow into the strongest version of themselves. The universe has chosen you to be that light for others, and your journey is proof of the power that lies in overcoming adversity. If you found inspiration in the message of your journey and the power of overcoming challenges, remember, your story matters. You have the ability to light the way for others just by embracing the lessons the universe is teaching you. Don't keep your wisdom to yourself. Share it with the world. Keep pushing forward and let your struggles and triumphs become the inspiration others need to keep going. Your journey is just getting started, and by continuing to rise above, you are proving that no challenge is too great to overcome. So step into your power, embrace your story, and watch as you become the source of inspiration that others are seeking. Keep going, your light is needed. As chosen ones, the universe is guiding you through a journey of profound growth, resilience, and self-discovery. Every challenge, every moment of doubt, and every triumph is part of a greater plan to shape you into the person you were always meant to become. Filled your own cup. The universe teaches us that self-love isn't about being perfect or always putting on a brave face. It's about accepting yourself as you are, flaws and all, and recognizing that you deserve happiness, peace, and fulfillment. By taking the time to care for your mind, body, and spirit, you create a strong foundation 
from which you can give to others without burning out. When you cultivate self-love, you begin to set healthy boundaries. You learn to say no when you need to, protecting your energy and preserving your peace. It's not about being selfish. It's about ensuring that you have the strength and clarity to help others in a way that's sustainable. When you take care of yourself, you show others how they too should prioritize their well-being, leading by example. Self-love also means being kind to yourself when you make mistakes or fall short of expectations. We often hold ourselves to impossibly high standards, criticizing ourselves harshly when we don't meet them. But self-love teaches you to be gentle and forgiving with yourself. It reminds you that you are human and that it's okay to not be perfect. Every mistake is an opportunity for growth, not a reason to be hard on yourself. Loving yourself also opens the door to greater self-awareness. When you spend time caring for yourself, you create space to connect with your true desires, passions, and needs. This self-awareness helps you make decisions that align with your authentic self, rather than seeking approval from others or following paths that don't bring you joy. The more you practice self-love, the more you learn to trust yourself and your intuition. Ultimately, when you cultivate self-love, you're better able to show up in the world with a full heart. You give freely, not out of obligation, but out of genuine love and care. You inspire others to do the same, creating a ripple effect of positivity and compassion. By filling your own cup first, you create a life where you're not constantly drained or feeling unappreciated, but instead thriving in the knowledge that you are worthy of love and care. And that by loving yourself, you can give love in a way that truly nourishes both you and the people around you. Self-love is the foundation for everything. The universe shows us that when we take care of ourselves, we're not only honoring our own worth, but we're also becoming the best version of ourselves, capable of giving and receiving love freely. Ever thought about how your experiences, both the struggles and triumphs, can inspire those around you? The universe wants you to understand that your journey, no matter how difficult or challenging it may seem, is powerful. Your story is not just yours. It's a source of inspiration for others who are walking their own paths. The hardships you face and the victories you achieve shape you in ways that give you strength and wisdom, and those very qualities are what others need to see to keep going in their own lives. Every struggle you've faced, every obstacle you've overcome, has made you stronger. It might not have felt like it at the time, but each challenge has taught you something valuable. The universe often puts us through difficult times, not just for our own growth, but so that we can become a source of hope for others. When you push through tough moments, you show others that they, too, can survive and thrive. Your journey is a testament to the power of resilience. Think about the times when you felt like giving up, but kept going anyway. These are the moments that shape your inner strength, and these are the moments that others see and learn from. They look at your perseverance, your courage, and your ability to keep moving forward, and it gives them the strength to do the same in their own lives. Your ability to rise above challenges is a light that guides others through their darkness. The triumphs in your life also serve as powerful reminders that success is possible, even after failure. When people see you achieve something you once thought impossible, they're reminded that anything can be accomplished with hard work and determination. Your story shows them that their dreams are possible too. You may not even realize it, but the way you carry yourself through life with grace, determination, and a willingness to learn, encourages those around you to keep going, even when they feel like quitting. The universe has placed you on a journey not just for your own growth, but also so you can become a beacon of hope for others. When you share your struggles and triumphs, whether through conversations, social media, or just your daily interactions, you help others feel less alone. They see that they're not the only ones going through tough times and they gain strength from knowing that someone else has walked that path before them and made it through. Your journey is a living example of the power of overcoming adversity. It shows others that even in the... And that reason isn't to copy what everyone else is doing. It's to bring your unique energy, ideas, and vision to life. In order to break free from society's expectations, you must cultivate self-love and acceptance. This means recognizing that you are enough exactly as you are. You don't need to change who you are or hide parts of yourself to meet someone else's standard. When you embrace your authentic self, you begin to experience a sense of freedom. You'll feel more confident, more grounded, and more connected to your purpose. 
By embracing your true self, you're not only living a more fulfilling life, but you're also paving the way for others to do the same. You don't have to follow the crowd. The universe is guiding you to be the leader of your own life and to inspire others to follow their own unique paths. So let go of the pressure to conform and step into your authentic power. The world needs you, not a version of you that's shaped by society's expectations, but the real you. Have you ever experienced a moment when something seemed too perfectly timed to be a coincidence? Maybe you were thinking about an old friend and they suddenly called you. Or perhaps you were searching for answers and then saw a message or symbol that spoke directly to you. These moments aren't just random, they're synchronicities, meaningful coincidences that the universe uses to communicate with you. Synchronicities are like little nudges from the universe, guiding you on your journey. They show you that you're not alone in the world and that everything is happening for a reason. Coincidences may seem like chance, but they are far more than that. The universe uses these moments to help you align with your true path, giving you hints, reassurance, and sometimes even a push in the right direction. Recognizing synchronicities requires a shift in how you see the world. Instead of dismissing unusual or perfectly timed events as mere coincidence, start to view them as messages meant just for you. Maybe you keep seeing the same number over and over, or a song you hear seems to speak to your current situation. These are signs that the universe is trying to communicate with you, offering guidance when you need it the most. The more you pay attention to these synchronicities, the more you'll realize how often they occur. They might appear in conversations with others, in dreams, or in seemingly random events. For example, you may be struggling with a difficult decision, and out of nowhere, someone shares a story or advice that helps you make up your mind. Or, perhaps you've been thinking about starting a new project, and a chance encounter with someone who has experience in that field encourages you to move forward. Synchronicities are the universe's way of reminding you that you're exactly where you need to be. They help you feel connected to something greater than yourself, offering reassurance that you're on the right path. These moments encourage you to trust your journey, even when things seem uncertain or confusing. They show you that you're not just going through life randomly, but that everything is happening in divine order. The key to recognizing synchronicities is being present and open to the world around you. Often we get so caught up in our busy lives that we miss these signs. But if you slow down and pay attention, you'll start to notice them more often. Whether it's a sign that shows up in nature, a repeating pattern, or a random encounter that feels like it was meant to be, these synchronicities can guide you and give you the confidence to continue moving forward. When you recognize synchronicities as guidance, you begin to feel more connected to the universe and more trusting of the path ahead. It's like having a hidden map that guides you through life, showing you the way even when you can't see the full picture. Trusting in these signs helps you let go of doubts and fears, allowing you to move forward with a sense of peace and assurance that you're not alone. The universe is always communicating with you. You just need to stay open and aware to receive its messages. In a world that often tells us to put others first, it can be easy to forget the importance of loving ourselves. But the universe reminds us that self-love is not selfish. It's absolutely essential. When you prioritize your own well-being and happiness, you're able to show up fully for others without depleting your energy or losing yourself in the process. Self-love starts with understanding that you are worthy of kindness, compassion, and care. It's about treating yourself with the same love and respect you'd offer to a friend or family member. Too often, we put ourselves last, thinking that by focusing on others, we're being selfless. But the truth is, when we neglect our own needs and emotions, we become exhausted, stressed, and overwhelmed. Just like a cup that runs dry, you can't pour love and support into others if you haven't first. Imagine trying to solve a puzzle. If you rush, you might miss key details or make mistakes. But if you take your time, you're more likely to find the right solution. Patience allows us to gather more information, think through our choices, and make wiser decisions. It helps us see the bigger picture rather than focusing on quick fixes or short-term rewards. In a world where everything seems to be moving fast and instant results are often valued, patience sets you apart. It becomes your superpower, allowing you to approach life with a steady, calm strength. The universe is guiding you to understand that patience isn't just a skill, 
It's a way of life that nurtures your inner strength and wisdom. By embracing patience, you're building a foundation of trust, resilience, and peace that will help you thrive no matter what life throws your way. In a busy world filled with constant noise and distractions, being alone can feel uncomfortable. Many people confuse solitude with loneliness, but there's a big difference. While loneliness is the sadness of being disconnected from others, solitude is the peaceful space where you connect deeply with yourself. Solitude is a gift the universe gives you so that you can truly get to know who you are. In moments of quiet and isolation, you have the chance to gain clarity, insight, and growth, things that are often hidden in the rush of daily life. Solitude allows you to dive deeper into yourself and reflect on your life. When we're always surrounded by others or consumed by busy schedules, it's easy to lose sight of who we really are and what we truly want. But when you're alone, free from external influences, you get to ask yourself meaningful questions. What are my true passions? What do I really believe in? What are my hopes and dreams? These are questions that can only be answered in moments of quiet, when you're not trying to please anyone else or meet others' expectations. Solitude helps you find your authentic self. The universe often guides us to embrace solitude when it's time to grow. Think of it like a caterpillar in a cocoon. The caterpillar goes through a transformative process alone, away from the world, and emerges as a butterfly. In the same way, solitude offers you a safe space for transformation. It may feel challenging or even uncomfortable at times, but these moments of isolation are where the most profound personal changes happen. You learn more about your strengths, face your fears, and understand yourself on a deeper level. In solitude, you're not hiding from the world. You're preparing to face it with a new perspective. Solitude also provides clarity. With no outside voices or distractions, your mind becomes like a clear, still lake, allowing you to see your thoughts and feelings more clearly. Decisions become easier to make, and your mind feels less cluttered. Solitude lets you think deeply, solve problems, and find peace with your thoughts. It's in these moments that you may realize new ideas or solutions to challenges you've been facing, things you might miss in a crowded or noisy environment. Embracing solitude doesn't mean shutting out the world forever. Instead, it's about creating a healthy balance. You come back from solitude with a stronger sense of self, more self-awareness, and a clearer idea of your goals. You become more centered, knowing what truly matters to you. This makes it easier to build relationships, pursue your dreams, and make choices that align with your values. Finally, solitude is a time for healing. Life's challenges can sometimes feel overwhelming, and the constant pressures of society can weigh you down. In solitude, you allow yourself to rest, recharge, and reflect. This time alone nurtures your emotional and mental well-being, helping you process your thoughts, release stress, and build resilience. It's like giving yourself a break to breathe and grow stronger. In the end, solitude is a sacred space for self-discovery and growth. The universe isn't isolating you as a punishment. It's offering you a gift, the chance to get to know yourself without distractions. Embrace solitude as a powerful tool for clarity, healing, and transformation. In these moments, you discover your inner strength and build a foundation for a more meaningful, authentic life. Forgiveness can be a difficult thing to do, especially when someone has hurt or disappointed you. However, the universe reminds us that forgiveness isn't just about freeing the other person. It's mostly about freeing ourselves. Holding on to anger, resentment, or bitterness is like carrying a heavy backpack filled with rocks. The longer we carry it, the heavier it feels. And it drains our energy, affecting our mood, health, and relationships. Forgiveness allows us to set down this weight and move forward with a light heart and a clearer mind. When you choose to forgive, you're making a decision to release the power that hurt has over you. Often, we think that by and watch how your world expands. The courage you build will take you places you never imagined, helping you grow and become the powerful person you're meant to be. Ego is like a mask that sometimes hides who we really are. It can make us feel like we always need to be right, look better than others, or prove ourselves. While it's natural to feel proud of our strengths and achievements, letting ego control us can actually block us from becoming our best selves. The universe teaches us that to grow and reach our true potential, we need to let go of our ego 
and approach life with humility and empathy. Think of ego as a thick wall around you, built to protect and boost your image. This wall might make you feel strong, but it also keeps you from understanding and connecting with others. For example, if you believe you're better than everyone else, you might miss out on learning new things from them. Ego makes us focus on being right instead of growing. By lowering that wall, we allow ourselves to learn, understand, and grow with others. When you start to let go of ego, you discover that there's a deeper, more authentic part of you, one that isn't concerned with being the best or proving anything to anyone. This part of you is connected to your true purpose, something beyond simply looking good or receiving praise. This purpose is more about who you are at the core and how you can contribute to the world around you. The universe is constantly encouraging you to look past your ego so you can see this part of yourself more clearly. Humility, which means being humble and open-minded, is a powerful tool for growth. When you're humble, you're willing to admit you don't know everything and you're open to learning from others. Empathy, or the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, lets you connect deeply with people, seeing things from their perspective. These qualities help you grow wiser because you're always learning and connecting in a meaningful way. So how can you let go of your ego? Start by recognizing when you feel the need to be right or better than others and ask yourself why. Challenge yourself to see things from other people's perspectives. Remember that everyone has something valuable to share and true growth comes from learning, not competing. When you let go of ego, you open yourself up to wisdom, growth, and a deeper understanding of your life's purpose. The universe knows this, and that's why it's guiding you to connect with your true self, free from ego's barriers. Patience is more than just waiting around for things to happen. It's about trusting that things will happen at the right time and that in the meantime, you are strong enough to handle the waiting. Sometimes patience may feel like one of the hardest qualities to master especially when things aren't going as quickly as we'd like. But the universe is teaching us that patience is actually a hidden superpower that, when developed, gives us a calm, centered strength that lasts through all of life's ups and downs. One important aspect of patience is trust. When we're patient, we're telling the universe that we believe in its timing. This kind of trust isn't easy. It requires us to let go of control and accept that not everything will happen exactly when or how we want it to. Trusting in the universe's timing means accepting that sometimes what feels like a delay is actually an opportunity for something even better to come our way. It's like planting a seed. You don't see the plant grow overnight, but you trust that with time and care, it will blossom. By being patient, we're allowing things to develop at the right pace, knowing that good things take time. Patience also teaches us resilience, or the ability to stay strong Life doesn't always go as planned, and sometimes we face setbacks or challenges that can be disappointing. In these moments, patience helps us remain calm and think clearly. Instead of rushing to fix things or getting upset, patience gives us the strength to observe, understand, and respond thoughtfully. This calmness becomes a powerful tool, allowing us to make wise decisions rather than impulsive ones. With patience, we're able to weather any storm with confidence and clarity. Being patient also brings a sense of inner peace. When we're in a rush, always pushing for things to happen faster, we often feel stressed and frustrated. But when we embrace patience, we allow ourselves to be fully present in each moment, enjoying the journey rather than focusing only on the destination. This shift in focus helps us see the beauty in every stage of our journey, making us more grateful and aware of the small joys that might otherwise go unnoticed. Patience teaches us that the journey itself is meaningful, not just the end result. Patience is also a form of wisdom. When we're patient, we give ourselves the time to understand situations fully before acting. Holding on to anger, we're somehow punishing the person who hurt us, but in reality, we're the ones suffering. The other person may not even know or care about our feelings, while we continue to carry the burden of resentment. The act of forgiveness breaks this cycle allowing us to take back our peace and emotional well-being. The process of forgiveness also helps you grow. It takes courage to forgive because it requires you to confront your feelings and acknowledge the hurt. In doing so, you gain a better understanding of yourself, your emotions, and your boundaries. You learn what you will and won't accept in your relationships, 
and you start to value your inner peace more than holding on to grudges. Forgiveness is like a mental and emotional cleanse, helping you let go of the past and make room for better experiences in the future. Forgiveness doesn't mean you're saying that what happened was okay or that you're excusing harmful behavior. Instead, it means you're choosing not to let that pain control your life anymore. It's about releasing the grip that hurt has on your heart. The act of forgiving doesn't have to involve the other person at all. It's an internal choice that you make to stop reliving the pain and to give yourself permission to heal. By letting go, you allow positivity and peace to flow back into your life. Imagine the space you create within yourself when you clear out anger and resentment. You now have room for happiness, love, creativity, and growth. People often say they feel lighter after forgiving someone, and that's because they've lifted a weight that was holding them back. The energy that was once focused on anger is now free to be used in ways that uplift and strengthen you. Forgiving others can also teach us to forgive ourselves. We all make mistakes, and sometimes we are our own harshest critics. By practicing forgiveness with others, we begin to see the importance of being kind to ourselves, letting go of past regrets, and accepting our imperfections. Self-forgiveness is the powerful step towards self-love and confidence. Ultimately, forgiveness is one of the universe's greatest lessons for finding peace and freedom. When you forgive, you choose a life of harmony, free from the negativity of past experiences. It opens the door to a brighter, more positive future and helps you focus on what truly matters, living a fulfilling, joyful life. The universe knows that by letting go of pain, you can unlock your full potential and move for forward with a heart that's lighter, open, and ready for new blessings. In today's world, there are countless rules, expectations, and pressures telling us how we should live, what we should look like, and what success should look like. From social media trends to the opinions of family and friends, society often pushes us to fit into a box. But the universe is calling you to break free from these expectations and embrace your true self. You're not here to follow the crowd or imitate others. You're here to create your own path and live in a way that feels true to who you are. The first step in breaking free from society's expectations is to stop comparing yourself to others. It's easy to get caught up in what everyone else is doing, especially when it seems like everyone is living their best life. But remember, your journey is unique, and comparing your progress with someone else's can only lead to frustration and self-doubt. Everyone has their own timeline, and just because someone else is moving faster or achieving different goals doesn't mean you should be too. Trust that your path is unfolding exactly as it's meant to. Embracing your uniqueness means letting go of the fear of judgment. Society often places labels on people. Successful, failure, weird, normal, attractive, unattractive, the list goes on. But these labels are limiting. They don't define who you truly are. When you stop worrying about what others think of you, you open the door to your authentic self. You start to express yourself more freely, pursue the things that truly interest you, and stop hiding parts of yourself out of fear of rejection. Living authentically isn't always easy. It means taking risks and stepping out of your comfort zone. It means being brave enough to do things that may not make sense to others, but that resonate deeply with you. The universe is calling you to lead by example to show others that it's okay to be different and to pursue what feels right for them. By embracing your true self, you inspire others to do the same. Authenticity is contagious. When you allow yourself to be real, you give others permission to do the same. You're here to create, to innovate, and to challenge the norms that no longer serve you. The world doesn't need more people who fit into predetermined roles. It needs people who dare to stand out, who bring fresh ideas, and who follow their hearts instead of the crowd. The universe has placed you on this earth for a reason, and divine timing is like life's way of making sure you're prepared so that when something finally does happen, you're able to enjoy it and make the most of it. Another thing to remember is that everyone has their own journey and timing. Just because someone else is succeeding now doesn't mean you're behind. It just means you're on your own unique path, one that's perfectly timed for you, Comparing yourself to others can make you feel anxious or sad, but trusting in divine timing means understanding that your moment will come, maybe in a way even better than you expect. So the next time you feel like things are moving slowly, 
Remind yourself that everything is unfolding just as it should. Trust that the universe knows what it's doing and that your perfect moment is on its way. In our world, it can sometimes seem like having more stuff means having a better life. You might feel the urge to get the latest phone, the coolest clothes, or even the newest video game. While these things can make you happy for a while, the universe has a deeper lesson. Real happiness and personal growth come from within, not from what you own. When we talk about material attachments, we're talking about being overly focused on physical things, like money, possessions, or status symbols, and letting them define who we are. But the universe is gently reminding us that experiences, learning, and personal growth are far more valuable. These are things you carry with you for a lifetime, and they shape the person you become. Imagine this, you have a favorite toy. At first, it's all you think about, and it makes you super happy. But over time, that happiness fades, and you might even forget about it. Experiences, on the other hand, stay with you and help you grow. Think about your favorite memories with friends or the lessons you've learned from a tough challenge. These don't fade, they're a part of you. By focusing less on material things, you free yourself to discover what truly matters. You realize that having fewer things gives you more room to grow. Letting go of the need for more possessions or status can feel strange at first, but it opens the door to a deeper sense of self. It allows you to connect with what really makes you happy and to spend more time on things that help you grow, like learning new skills, developing strong relationships, and exploring your passions. Letting go of material attachments doesn't mean you shouldn't enjoy the nice things you have. It just means not letting those things define your worth. Your true value isn't measured by what you own, but by who you are. When you focus on experiences, wisdom, and inner growth, you're following a path to real fulfillment, one that no amount of stuff can ever match. So the next time you find yourself wishing for more things, remember that true happiness and purpose come from within. Embrace who you are beyond your belongings, and you'll discover a richness that no amount of stuff can replace. We all feel afraid sometimes. Maybe you're scared of failing a test, worried about trying something new, or nervous about speaking up in front of a crowd. Fear is a powerful feeling that can stop you from doing the things you really want or from becoming the best version of yourself. But here's an important lesson. The universe is encouraging you to face these fears because it knows that courage is the key to unlocking your true power. Imagine fear as a big wall standing between you and your goals. Every time you let fear stop you, it's like deciding not to climb that wall. But when you decide to face your fear, even if it's just one small step at a time, you begin to break down that wall. Each step you take builds your courage and opens up new possibilities you may have never even dreamed of. Think about it. Some of the most successful people have all faced fears and challenges. They might have been scared, too, but instead of running away, they found the strength to push through. The more you practice facing your fears, the stronger and braver you become. Each time you conquer a fear, no matter how small, you're showing yourself that you're capable of so much more than you thought. One of the best things about overcoming fear is that it can lead you to new experiences and hidden talents. Maybe you're afraid to join a new team or club at school, but if you gather the courage to try it, you might find that you love it and that you're really good at it. Fear can keep you stuck, but courage opens doors to opportunities you didn't even know were there. The universe wants you to see that fear is not a sign to stop. It's a sign to grow. By learning to face what scares you, you're tapping into a part of yourself that's brave and strong. Every time you choose courage over fear, you're unlocking more of your true power. So the next time you feel afraid, remember it's okay to be scared, but don't let it hold you back. Start by taking small steps to face your fears and 